Hey guys, so um, today is going to be my first Q&A video, which I'm super, super, super excited for. Um, I've never done one of these before, and I took to Instagram and asked you guys what questions that you guys had for me, like life-related, makeup, or transition, or anything, and you guys responded well. So I have, like, all the questions here on my Instagram, so I'm just going to kind of go through and answer them. Um, yeah. So first question is from Gabrielle Gladue, and... Um, her first question is, what is your religion? And my religion, I guess I really don't have one. Um, I know that that's kind of like, sounds maybe morbid or, or a little bit off-putting to some of you. But I was raised um, Christian Catholic. I was confirmed and everything. But I'm, I'm not 100% about, like, everything that they believe in. But, I mean, I do believe that there's, like... An afterlife, but I guess I really don't want to get into, like, religion and stuff, because that's not what this channel is about. So, next question is, what is your number one tip for feminizing the face? And I think the one thing that throws off a face for, like, a trans woman is the nose. I feel like that, in the jawline, and, like, the jawline and the nose really throw it off and can clock a trans woman so quickly. Um, so that's why I want to get my nose done. But other than that, I feel like the nose and the and the jawline are one of the biggest things that um, will clock, like, a trans woman. And people will, like, notice more. So what keeps you happy? And I guess this is a really tough question because, like, I don't know. Like, a lot of things keep me happy. Like you guys, like, keep me super, super, super happy. Um, I always love, like, looking at your feedback on my, like, makeup and just feedback on my videos and stuff, and it makes me, like, super happy that you guys really enjoy it. I mean, there's always negativity everywhere, but I don't, I don't really stick and think about the negativity because there's a lot of people that I've even seen on YouTube that will go and read negative comments about themselves, and I'm like, why would you do that? Like, you're just causing yourself more stress and depression because you're reading what people have to say. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, they're virtually saying it. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, it has absolutely no effect on me, I feel like. I mean, I mean, some, some effect, but after doing this for a while, I guess I'm, like, over it. So I kind of just, like, keep to my goals, and I set goals, and, and I make it, um, I make it, like, fun, and I don't know, I guess that's really what keeps me happy, like, chasing my dreams. Um, and have you smiled today? Um, yes, I'm smiling all the time. I feel like there are days when I have bad, like, in a bad mood. I mean, clearly everyone has those days, um, but I do smile all the time. So thank you for telling me I have an amazing smile. The next one was Danya Forever underscore one, and what is your favorite makeup palette? And, hmm, that is also a really hard one. Um, I mean, there is a ton of makeup palettes that are my favorite. I guess my custom-made one that I made from Makeup Geek has got to be my favorite one because that's got, like, all the colors that I personally want in them. So, yeah, that's got to be my favorite palette of right now. And then Bren J 150 asks, when did you start loving makeup? And she said that she fell in love with it a little over two years ago, and it's, like, a nice little hobby. It is a really good hobby, and I fell in love with makeup... I gotta say, maybe two years ago, um, I never was really big into it. I was just kind of doing it for fun at the time. Um, I absolutely loved doing it, and I thought it was super, super fun. And my, like, passion just kind of built from there, and it's been, like, a burning passion. Like, I mean, there are times where I will be, like, sitting in my room at 11 o'clock at night, and I'm like, oh, time for a makeup look. Like, I will just be in the mood to do makeup. When it's, like, the first and last thing that you think about in the morning and at night, like, you know that you have, like, a huge passion for it. Um, Flawless Bitch <laughs> asks, what are your type, top five makeup products you always seem to reach for? Always a highlighter. I've been so obsessed. I was so obsessed with, like, a matte look for a while, but then I, like, changed it up, and I'm all about the dewy skin. I'm always, like, applying so much highlight to my face <laughs> now, which is, like, that nice little glow on the top of my cheekbone, and it's beautiful. I'm actually wearing Becca... Um, Shimmering Skin Perfector and Moonstone. It's so pretty. So if you guys have not checked out any Becca products, definitely check that out. Um, so my Becca highlighter, my primer, um, Max Matte Cream is great. Um, oh my god, I'm only on two. Their Real Mascara, always. Um, my Makeup Forever HD Foundation. And number five, a setting spray. Top five must-haves. Must-haves. Alright, so Ashley71711 says, 
Who are your two top makeup artists? Jaclyn Hill. I am so obsessed with her. I've been obsessed with her for a long time. I feel like she's a wonderful makeup artist. She's so down to earth. I feel like I've never met her in person yet, but I'm at LA. You know I will be. Um, I feel like she's so down to earth and she's like so, I don't know, happy all the time. She's very like all about her her subscribers and her followers and everything. And I love that about her. I feel like it's so admirable and so inspiring. And also Brian Champagne. Um, I've talked about him so much on my Instagram. I absolutely love him. Um, he is one of the best makeup artists I've ever seen. He is so friendly. He is so like uplifting to young artists and everything. He is like, seriously, if you guys don't follow him or anything, definitely go to Instagram and follow him. He is literally so amazing. I absolutely love him. I cannot wait to meet him in January. All right, so <laughs> Danny Doodlebug 55 asks, my question is, will you marry me? And the answer is, I thought we were already married. Okay, so Leona, Leona, Leela, sorry. Um, how did you get the job at Sephora, and how did you learn, was I self-taught or beauty school? Um, how I got the job at Sephora, I just applied randomly to the one that was an hour away, and then they called for an interview, and then I got the demo interview. If you guys would like to see, like, more in-depth about that, I will link the how I got a job at Sephora down below, and you guys can check that out. Um, and I'm self-taught. Um, I'm all self-taught. I've never went to makeup school or anything, so I just kind of, like, gotta say, it's, it's one of those things. It's, like, a natural thing for some people. I mean, it can be taught, but some people have, like, this natural talent for makeup. And is it important to go to beauty school for having a higher chance to work at Sephora as a makeup artist? Um, no, I mean, you can have, like, an esthetician license, but that doesn't mean that you're going to get hired, guaranteed. But I feel like, in general, having, like, a license is great. So, I mean, if you're looking to do, like, freelancing and stuff, like, definitely get, like, an esthetician license. I'm playing with my hair. And maybe, like, I feel like having a degree is really good. So if you want to get, like, an esthetician license, that's great. Um, but, like, it's not needed to work at Sephora. And bring me the tacos. Why are you so perfect? I absolutely adore you. Well, thank you. That's so sweet. I literally love all of you guys. All right, so emo underscore pizza. How did you get into makeup in the first place? Um, I don't know. Like, in all honesty, my friend worked at Alta, and we were, like, really close and stuff, and he just kind of, like, told me about it, and I just literally bought, like, a foundation and, like, something and I just really got into it and the passion started burning from there and then my collection grew and and then the passion grew and the artistry grew and just everything grew so I feel like um he introduced me to it so thank you to him um Britonator98 if you could only use one makeup brand which one would it be and what are all of your favorite mac makeup from each category Oh, God. Okay, this is going to be a long question. I'm going to try to answer it all. Um, if I can only use one makeup brand, what would I choose? I love MAC, but I wouldn't choose MAC because I don't like MAC foundations, and I feel like skin is super, super, super important. Um, so if I had to choose one brand that has a great everything, I would choose NARS. NARS has, I feel like, everything. Great foundation, great lip stuff, great um, highlighters, great blushes, great everything. So NARS. Um, and what is my favorite MAC? My favorite MAC lipstick is going to be Faux. Like, that's my biggest one. That's in my favorites video. If you haven't seen that, I will also link that down below. Um, so Faux is my favorite lipstick. Eyeshadow from MAC? I don't really know. That's a good question. Um, blush, I love mocha. I wear it all the time. It's so good for all of these skin tones. It's like a deeper mauve blush. So I kind of just blend that down into my contour. It's beautiful. Um... And can you do a video about all your MAC makeup? I can't just stick to MAC. Like, girl, I have too much. Like, I need to do, like, maybe I'll do, like, a makeup collection video. You guys want to see, like, a makeup collection and storage video? If so, like, definitely like the video. And I will try to get a makeup collection one for you guys. Just let you guys know how I store it and everything. Because you guys always see it in the back of my videos. But, like, I never have, like, done it in depth of, like, what I use to store. Um, Eon Key. 2013 says, how old were you when you really got into makeup? I would say 18 or 19 um, when I really got into makeup, and I'm 21 now, so it's been a little bit. And how did your family react to doing makeup on yourself? Oh, this is like a tough question, because that was, I mean, it was a bad reaction at first. They were like, so against it and everything, and now, I mean, they're like, okay with it, they don't say anything anymore, like, it's whatever. I did my mom's makeup, my sister's, like, so... 
I gotta say, definitely I'm more supportive of it now than they were in the beginning, but just like that, everyone takes time to get used to. Everyone takes time to get used to things. And I love your looks, by the way, you're awesome and an inspiration. Well, thank you, that's so sweet. Like, all I wanna do is just change someone, like, change someone's life or change someone's outlook on life, so... Thank you, that means a lot that you said that. Um, where to buy cheap palettes? Um, somebody actually answered this question in the comments, but I'm gonna kind of, like, elaborate. Um, they said BH Cosmetics is great, Coastal Sense is great. I mean, even, like, what I did with Makeup Geek, like, it was a $20 palette for the palette, but the, like, $5.99 eyeshadows and Morphe brushes has $2 eyeshadows, so you can build, like, a custom palette. I feel like that's pretty cheap. I mean, you can get, like, 30 eyeshadows for 60 bucks. Like, that's not bad. That's more than you can get like, out of a naked palette. So, I definitely think that's a good route, too, but BH Cosmetics, Coastal Scents, Morphe, like, all of them are great, um, palettes. Moonchild Grimm says, best and worst drugstore foundation. Best, I love L'Oreal True Match, not the Lumine, but the original. It's amazing, keeps your skin so matte. Um, I love the finish of it, it's amazing, and the worst drugstore foundation I have had to use was it was like, it's like maybe CoverGirl, it was like clean, and it was in like the triangle. Oh, I hated that. That was literally the worst thing ever. And the best drugstore foundation for yellow undertones. Um, I love L'Oreal True Match because I do have a yellow undertone, and they just have like such a nice selection of colors. Um, L'Oreal True, yeah, I would check L'Oreal True Match. That one's a really good one. Um... And Sideways Happy Face, when did your passion for makeup start and how? Like I said, two years ago, I just started doing it, and it just kind of grew from there. And how, like, I just kept applying makeup, and I just thought it was super fun, so I just kept doing it and doing it and doing it, and then I just got addicted to it like a drug. Um, it definitely is like a drug. Like, I'm so addicted right now, so I'll probably be addicted forever. And that is all that I have for my Instagram. So... That's all that I have for this question and answer video. If you guys have any more that are unanswered or you feel like you wanted to ask more, definitely leave those down in the comments for me. And if there's enough, I'll make a um, question and answer part two. So feel free to ask me anything um, within means, clearly. Um, but that's all that I have for this video. And I love you guys and I will see you guys soon.